I've been watching some videos on YouTube about weave patterns and I've been pretty impressed with it. So the fl flies are looking pretty nice, pretty effective. So I've been having a wee go at it. It's pretty tricky. So I'm going to have another wee shot this morning. I'm going to try there are a couple of different ways that you can weave your yarn on, but I'm going to kind of the, 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 the knot version. So we're putting start with a again just a bed a thread on the, the hook shank. Touch and turn if you can. I'm going to tie in <coughs> a wee bit of squirrel tail. Give me a wee tail. Pinching a loop, pinching a loop, couple of turns, excess away, and I've got a wee bit of copper wire here. I'll put a wee ribbon. The videos I've been watching, your yarn goes on the side of the hook, not the top or the bottom, but the side. So, we'll start with the red, which will be closer to yourselves. Pension loop. Pinching a loop, like down to the side of the hook. Finish and cut your thread off because you're going to need a bit of space for your weaving. One, two, three. Thread off and your excess off. away for you and I've turned the hook upside down so what we're looking for is for the red to be in the top and the orange in the bottom so just make that a knot thread back in
tie in your thread, your yarn. Cut off your excess, tie it in, and now your rib. Oh. And you'll have a wee bit of black dubbing for the thorax. You can also use these be <coughs> weighted. Either put a bar lead on it or a gold head. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four, tighten it in and snip it off. Now, it's not perfect, the camera's focusing on that, but it's no bad for a beginner. A great wee fly, great, great wee pattern. As I see, there's a couple of different ways that you can weave your whatever you're using for your body wool, floss, and yeah, hopefully I'll catch a fish. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you again.